That's a perfect way to start this video. You are brilliant and beautiful and self-confidence is the key to help you understand and to embrace that. And I'm so glad that you decided to join me for this video on cultivating self-confidence, which really is, it's like this fuel that's going to help you turn your thoughts and the things that you want to do into actions and actually do it. Confidence is that thing that's gonna give you the courage to do the things that you wanna do in life. It's that fuel that gets you to turn your ideas into actions and it is useful and necessary for so many different things and areas in your life. It's that little bit of boost of confidence that's gonna help you raise your hand when you wanna answer a question but you're not quite sure. It gives you the courage to go up and introduce yourself to a new friend you as you want to audition for the play or sign up to be part of the team uh, or get out there and really just show up as the best version of you. All we're talking about here is building and cultivating self-confidence and authentic self-confidence that comes from within and also what it looks like on the outside. Well, some people do naturally have more self-confidence than others, the good news is everyone can learn how to build it and cultivate that within themselves. So that's the tips I'm gonna give you coming up. Hey, it's time for a family activity. So gather your whoever's around and ask this question. What does self-confidence look like and feel like to you? And who are some people that you know, whether they're famous or in real life, uh, that really exhibit great characteristics of confidence and what are those? So you can either turn it into a family discussion or write it down in your journal. So we're breaking down self-confidence into two main areas. The first is your external self-confidence and that's how you show up. That's talking body language, your voice, your eye contact, and it is so much fun what we do in the Empowered Team group programs because we get to really practice and embody what this looks like and even do what looks silly and ridiculous, which we see people doing all the time. So it's going to be about having the confidence to show up and be seen, to have posture in how you walk, how you talk, how you deliver a message, and the assertiveness that just shows that, hey, I know what I'm talking about, and I'm happy to be heard and seen. That is a little insight into the external self-confidence work that we do at Empower Teen Confidence. The second part to building self-confidence is looking internally. It's building intrinsic self-confidence of who you are from the inside out. Let's talk about love. That is where we start with internal, intrinsic building of self-confidence that comes from the inside out. It's all about developing self-love and appreciation for who you are and your unique qualities. It's not about being somebody else. And I know that this is so, so hard, especially in your teen and tween years, as you're looking to TikTokers and people on social media, and maybe even your best friend or sibling of what some, like what you should look like, but there is no should, it is all about you. And the more you can embrace and develop and encourage the things that make you unique and you special, and love them, the more self-confidence you'll have and the more aligned you'll be. That's one of the keys to happiness is being true to who you are. So I want you to take a deep dive into exploring what makes you special, you unique from the way that you look to how you act to your special talents and even the things that you don't like. Those are things that make you uniquely special and the more you can get in touch and in line with those, the more authentic self-confidence you'll be able to develop because you know who you are. Hey, it's time for the next family activity. So I want you to write down for yourself and for the other people that are playing the game with you, what you think your most authentic, unique, amazing qualities are. And then write that down or whether it's your friend or your mom or whoever's there playing along with you and help support each other coming up with a whole list of things that you know are unique and great and special about you and your friends. 
Congratulations, now you've been empowered with how to build self-confidence from the inside and out. But this is just the beginning to really learn how to explore and engage in being more self-confident in every way. I invite you to join our empowered program for teens and tweens. Contact us now at kristainikovsky.com.